Welcome into the Daily Reload. I'm Crash and you're busy, so let's go ahead and get into the shooter news of the day. And what I wanna talk about is Call of Duty within the context of the Activision Blizzard earnings call that took place. I wanna take a look at some quotes, a look at some numbers and kind of look at those and see why the game is the way it is and why people are upset with it and kind of give my thoughts on it and definitely open it up to you guys down in the comments below to see where you stand on all of this. But what caught my eye first of all this morning was Charlie Intel reporting that Activision's monthly active player count decreased from 111 million during quarter four of 2022 to 98 million during quarter one of 2023. Now this is on the fiscal quarter schedule of Activision Blizzard and you guys can see that player drop. But if we look closer at these numbers, I think they tell a little bit different of a story. And when I mean it in all the context of this is, it seems like a lot of content creators and more serious COD players on Twitter are upset with the franchise as far as net code, movement changes, uh, mini map changes, like all those things that people have been talking about on Twitter and they've been very vocal about. I kind of have felt like, and I said this in my last video, I don't know if this is the Twitter algorithm pushing all these negative thoughts towards me or if that's how it actually is. But as you guys can see from the December earnings call, we dropped from 111 million players down to 98 million players. So there there is that large decrease but if you kind of take a broader look back and you look at the same quarter of last year there were a hundred players so you've actually only dropped two million players in that same time frame and I think the overall context of time is important here because in regards to you know launch day people get excited when there's new seasons people get excited when they launch Warzone 2 so it's kind of like in the COD life cycle is pretty similar every single year so from this quarter to the last adjacent quarter of the same time period they've only dropped two million players or two percent which isn't that crazy of a drop on the other hand it is kind of wild to think that Vanguard was largely panned it had some of the lowest player numbers they've had in a long time and you're kind of in that same ballpark. There was a lot of the vitriol and discontent as well during the Caldera time. So basically with this brand new touted Modern Warfare 2, the new era of Call of Duty, allegedly leaks were saying two years of support. We're gonna get into that in just a minute. The new DMZ mode, the new ground war mode, all these modes come into Modern Warfare 2. We knew it was gonna be a massive game and you're back to kind of the base player base that was around during Vanguard and the Caldera time. So that's actually pretty wild. It seems like a step back in player base. And they did debunk that rumor within this earning calls. Charlie Intel goes on to report that Activision once again confirms a full annual premium release in the Call of Duty franchise is launching later this year. They did not mention a developer, but it's widely rumored to be Sledgehammer Games. Seeing a drop in player numbers would generally be very alarming, but I'm guessing they're a little bit more worried about their acquisition not going well over in the UK. But surprisingly enough, they're actually generating more money. This blew my mind. Activision generated 1.29 billion in microtransactions revenue in quarter one of 2023 compared to 1.01 billion in quarter one of 2022. So that's looking at the same quarters like we were. That's looking at in the quarter one of 2022, you had 100 players. And in this most recent quarter, you have 98. So that's a 2% drop. So there was a 2% drop in player base in monthly active users, but they generated 280 more million million dollars within that three month window in microtransactions. And that should essentially explain to you why the game is in the state that it's in and why the store is also in the state it's in. I have felt like since this game launched, it is a microtransaction store with a first person shooter attached to it. It feels like everything is optimized to get you to keep playing, to get you to buy stuff. We've all seen those patents where it traditionally gives easier lobbies if you buy stuff in the store. And Call of Duty has become incredibly efficient at getting the most money out of their players. So there could be less and less players, more and more whales spending more money. How do they do this? They do this by very expensive skins that everyone wants that are goofy and silly and make everyone happy and giggle. But then they also do more nuanced things like the guns in the battle pass are always really, really strong. You can get it for free. People don't get mad about it. But a lot of people, when they start getting killed by that early in the season, they're busy at work. They don't have a lot of time tier skips that gun is super strong they can buy tier skips to get it quick to get into the game get it leveled up and then on the flip side of that the next season inevitably 
that gun will get nerfed and the next battle pass weapon will be super strong and it'll start the whole process over again going through things like that it seems like when there's a meta weapon in conjunction with that there's a blueprint with the almost meta loadout for that gun that everyone can buy if they don't have time or want to unlock stuff like that there's just an incredible amount of that and then on top of that you have the cod battle pass this season they added the black cell battle pass which is a battle pass on top of the battle pass guys we're in the future we've reached our pinnacle of micro transactions where you couldn't even use cod points on it you actually have to get out your wallet and swipe your credit card for the 30 dollars and then there's another battle pass auxiliary to the side of that with the trophy system but you have to collect in-game trophies to unlock stuff within that battle pass so that keeps people playing so i don't think it's going to change anytime soon with them actually generating more money with less players that's that's incredible i don't think things are going to change stuff like server performance and balance and stuff don't really matter when they're making this much money this also makes it realize with only that two percent drop just how small content creators and the vocal minority on reddit and on twitter are everyone seems upset with the game right now but a lot of casual people don't care they're playing they're busy at work they're buying the skins they want they're buying the battle pass they want and i can't really blame people because it's their money and they can do whatever they want with it but it's just kind of a sad state of things in my opinion guys that's all i had today thank you so much for watching if you like daily shooter news hit those buttons have a great day tomorrow and we'll see you on the other side